welcome ladles and jelly beans and today we're going to be looking at majorette and these majorettes are the ones that I've been picking up in the UK and some that have been sent to me from far away so uh, let's check it out shall we Well, so you've all become used to these uh, major videos now, hopefully, and uh, I like to check out the trucks first. Um, this was available in Tesco's. Um, sad to say that Tesco's no longer sell majorette. Yes, uh, after that big rush, the big sale, your majorettes are no longer there, which is a shame. But you can still buy majorettes in Toys R Us and in Morrison. So first out. We've got this lovely truck and this, these are in uh, 187 scale so let's take a little look around this beauty um, it's a Mercedes Actros in a rather stunning red which is awesome always like these 187 scale uh, majorette trucks they're uh, highly detailed and very true to, to the scale as well and they do have a removable um, trailer which is awesome um, the majority of the vehicle is made of metal. There is a plastic base, uh, nicely detailed too. And then we see the name, the scale, it's all going on. Now the truck, uh, the wagon is actually a metal spine or chassis with plastic accents. And uh, this particular truck is a Maersk truck. Now I see these trucks every day on my way to work, parked up down the side of the road doing whatever so I'm guessing they're uh, something to do with the European Union and uh, they must ship in from wherever Maersk land is any <laughs> anyone actually know where they come from let me know down below I've got a feeling they're like um, I don't know Danish or something like that but there you go could be Eastern European even but uh, yeah the Maersk uh, white trucks are out there or to be seen everywhere around that Northamptonshire so I'm glad to have finally got, I think, the final truck for my truck collection. And again, I picked it up for a song in uh, Tesco's, which was great. They were selling everything off. And I think I picked up this for, I don't know, for a quid or something crazy. So anyway, happy to have that one. Right, let's have a look at this one. This is, uh, I found this finally in uh, Toys R Us. Um, so Toys R Us are a little bit more expensive than uh, Tes uh, Tesco's and a little bit more expensive than Morrison's where you're gonna find street cars will be in Morrison's. Can't remember the price on this, but uh, I was happy to buy it because I really, really like it. So we're just gonna check out the Jeep Rubicon. Oh, it's, geez, it's awesome. Fabulous details. Look at those uh, headlamps there. This is now becoming a trademark of uh, all that is majorette. Some nice plastic inserts there. It's got a plastic uh, tarpaulin roofy thing there. Which is all, oh, look at that. It's all got, uh, it's got, lit. yeah, wow. Windscreens in there and everything. Beautiful. It doesn't look like it comes out. The wheel was actually part of the chassis and it has the hook. Oh, that's cool. I haven't seen a major rep vehicle with a hook for ages. There we go, we've got uh, some suspension too. Oh, that's a beauty, isn't it? <laughs> so tempting to try and pull that off, but um, I'm not going to. I don't think it does. But I imagine if you wanted to do a little custom, you could probably, if you wanted to. She's awesome. Look, they're, they're lovely, lovely wiper details there as well. What scale is that? 160 so it's a good good all-round scale there 160 fabulous stuff beautiful uh, details rear light details it's got what else have we got that's it really it's got the older style majorette um, wheels I think they use those a lot on their American cars 
Oh, it bounces too. Look at that. Awesome. What a piece. Love it. we look at next well we're gonna, I'm gonna check out these two they're these um, these what these these would have been available in uh, Morrison's um, and of course these are probably I don't know for Morrison's the Majorette series series one I guess I don't know what they are in the uh, Majorette lineup overall and these are both from Canada they were sent to me by Monsieur Diecast um, these are basically the, the dollar cars that would have been out there in Canada as well so uh, I'm going to open up the uh, this one first I sent I remember sending one of these to uh, to James Shear I had it for a long time ready to, to go to him and um, uh, basically there was no more available in the UK so he basically had the last one that I knew of in the UK and uh, now I've finally managed to get one and it's come all the way from Canada so uh, there you go uh, interesting black windscreen on this one that's very striking straight away. Not too sure if there's an interior in there or not. And of course, this is the uh, Ford Focus Mark 1 in rally mode. So it's uh, completely uh, swoops up with all its spoilers and intercoolers and all the rest of it. Lovely deep uh, inserts into the hood there. Got the overall uh, overhead uh, cooler device there and some fat spoilers on the back to give it some ground effect fabulous stuff of course these cars are pretty much designed for rallying obviously we've got this really high um, brake lights there so you don't get them smashed up when you tail end into stuff beautiful thing I was actually talking to a guy at the garage the other day and we were wondering out of uh, recent cars uh, which cars like normal street cars not your Alfa Romeos or your Lamborghinis your Fords and your Vauxhalls and that sort of thing, what sort of cars would last the test of time and be sought after in the future? Who reckons on the uh, Ford then? The Ford Focus. So there she is. WRC in 157. So a little bit smaller than 160. Well, actually one bit, a little bit bigger than 160. So hold on, there we go. Quite nice next to the Rubicon, regardless of scale. Wow, look at that low down. Let's have a look at this one then. This is the Fiat Panda. I know it's a Fiat Panda because uh, one of my wife's friends has got one of these exactly in this colour. Uh, I'm not going to show this one to her because she probably wants it to remember her own car by. But anyway, here it is. The Fiat Panda. This one actually comes with a free, uh, looks like um, some kind of insect in the back there. Or it could be a trapped fairy. Again. If you've got any uh, ideas or clues as to what that might be, you can uh, let me know below. <laughs> it's an interesting rear ornament anyway for a car. Comes with a roof rack. Wow, that's cool. You would need a roof rack in this car. They are very, very tiny indeed. And the irony is uh, she's got a couple of little kids and the whole of the back seat there is just jam-packed chocker with um, car baby seats and all the rest of it. Lovely details up the front here. Got all the interior there. We've got the uh, the windscreen wipers again. No fit badges, unfortunately. This one actually looks a bit more super than your uh, average uh, Fiat Panda. 
and there's lovely grills up front there. Looks really cool actually. And that, that awfully scary Fiat greeny blue colour as well. So uh, there it is. Wow, what a thing. And look on the base, it's got sprung suspension again. And then a fantastic 155 scale. Whoa, that's nice. So that's going to fit in nice with uh, Sikus if you've got them. For the, just for the scale. Fantastic. It looks massive. Now, these things are tiny, but it looks absolutely massive next to that Jeep, isn't it? This piece here now you've all seen it before this is the uh, obviously the Nissan GTR it's from the premium car series and uh, you could have bought this one in Tesco's I got this one in Tesco's I think it cost me like 75p bargain so uh, there we go now I sent one of, the, of these off to uh, James Shear as well and uh, which left me short of one I spent ages trying to find one and I finally got this one back again, so I'm well chuffed with this. And this is a premium car, so it comes with opening doors. So the Jeep, the Alpha 4C Spider. Um, there's going to be a Ford GT. You're going to be able to get that probably from uh, Toys R Us. I'm really looking forward to that. That's the latest Ford GT. It is coming to England, yes, and if it's not already here. There's also a Lambo Aventor, Aventador Roadster, which um, I'm really looking forward to. There's only one other casting of that, and that's Hot Wheels. A Toyota Corolla. Now I haven't got a year for the Corolla, but I'm going to guess and say it's going to be a modern Corolla. Could be wrong. And we got some definites on a recast of the Audi R8, and um, which is good because the old Audi R8 is a bit lacking. So I'm wondering if it's going to be the updated uh, Audi R8 from last year. It should be cool. Here we go, we're going to finish off the show with this fantastic Viper, so let's open her up. I've been dying to get this one out. This is, I would say, one of my most anticipated uh, castings I've been trying to get hold of. The other one, of course, is the um, Bentley, which I still have to find. So I won't be showing that in these uh, couple of vids, but uh, certainly, yeah, we're going to see this one here. Of course, the Bentley is probably going to be in Toys R Us. Um, I've still got to make a little visit to Toys R Us, so we'll wait and see if, if it comes up. But let's have a look around this piece here. Oh, and she's gorgeous. Really captured the, the lines of this car. It's pretty sumptuous, actually. It's almost like it needs some extra grill work up the top here. It's a very smooth bonneted version. It's in fact very, very smooth and the blue on this is just amazing. Lovely, lovely paint. A spin around the back there. I've done a great job with those tail lights. Really nice. I'm taking a leaf out of the, uh, the Matchbox book of tail lights because that is just awesome. I love the uh, silver and the red together there. They look good. So take a look inside, shall we? The opening doors on this one. Yeah, it's actually um, the weight of the car is is very nice. It's not too heavy. So I'm imagining it might be good down the track. That'd be an interesting uh, situation. A bit raced up against uh, a Hot Wheels version. I 
think there's a, an auto world as well, which I'm going to have to get out at some point. So I'm going to save the race till when I open up my auto world version of this car. There we go. Rear view lights, all the features you've come to love, and of course those beautiful inserted headlamps, which is also a feature on this uh, this as well. We'll put it up on the base there in 160 scale. So uh, here we go. Sits up nice against that's a Rubicon and the Viper next to each other. There we go. as well it would be good if it was Ooh, 161 it's pretty damn close there we go all right then ladies and gentlemen um, hope you've enjoyed uh, this particular majorette video the next video we're going to do on majorette will be majorette you can't get in the uk so uh, stay tuned for that that's all for now mm -hmm.